Ladies and gentlemen, boys and black girls, welcome back to our Mamluks campaign in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine, and my ear holes have just gone weird. I can only hear myself in one ear. I need some new headphones soon. Anyway, yeah, uh, we, we just pieced out of a war with uh, Persia. So, uh, getting out of his provinces. I think I might send all of you over towards Portugal. Where are you lot going? Yeah, fair enough. How about you? Yep. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll need someone down here. Am I going to need... 2014? Yeah, I don't know. Let's pluck you out of there. Send you south to Matzolo. Because our truce with... Uh, with Portugal ends fairly soon. And I'd like to eat that before France does. Uh, I'd also like some of... Oh, uh, we also corrupted the officials in uh, in Russia. Pretty much just to get the achievement. I don't think I ever use corrupt officials. All it does is lower their spy, their spy network upon you. Which, it's, you know. I suppose it's useful if you know that they have a decent spy network on you. But other than that, it's, I, I, no. No. It's not really useful at all. As for Mali. We've just been to war with you, haven't you? What about Yao? With Yao, yeah, I figured out... I could take Yao out and then go for Portugal as well. We've just taken this land, so I'll chuck these forts back on for the time being. Well, not just taken the land, but fairly certain there's a, there's a rebellion knocking around here somewhere. Any of these turned Coptic yet? Not just yet. Now, once you give a province to a trade company, uh, you can't convert it anymore. Fob you off on the uh, trade company as well. How about you? Coptic. Coptic, yeah. And yeah. It just looks a little bit unmessy. Unmessy? It just looks a little bit messy on this list. If there's stuff that you, you're you not allowed to convert just because it's in a trade company. I think I... Untrade companyed a lot of land over here briefly just so that I could send it Coptic. Oh, Coptic, are you? Yep. Yeah. As for this. Effective missionary, so that's not going to happen for a while. You're the no, you can't. Be, you can't be given to uh, trade company. Fair enough. Okay, how, how are we doing with Coptic?ness You're doing all right. It's spreading slowly but surely. It's spreading. On we go. What ideas can we take? Are we going for ideas or are we going for tech? We could go for the Diplo idea. What's the Diplo idea? Diplo relations plus one. Mm. Go on then. Cost of reducing war exhaustion. We'll be re reducing war exhaustion because that will lower our absolutism. And absolutism is key for cheap conquering of stuff as we've demonstrated I'll also check these forts up get rid of the devastation uh, guard against rebels popping I mean some of these forts are fairly crap but they'll give us time to get from where we're going to be on this coast 
to the provinces where the uh, the rebels pop. Not going to bother with Homos. Nothing. Oh, national rest minus one. Nice. Uh, Considered in the French Lorrainian nationalist war against Lorraine. So, war they have started. Lorraine is allied with Bohemia, Trier, Nuremberg, and Ravensburg. Milan's getting involved in this war. Okay. Uh, change direction. Actually, do we change direction? I don't think we'll need too many people for Portugal. You go to Portugal. We might need to employ more men here. Uh, you lot head up to Milan. Where are you going? Now it's a fort down here. Stupidly. So we're going to need quite a few men down here to take Matsolo. Do I trust full humanist? And that lack of unrest. Discontent has been sown. Overextension is quite high. It's going to be high for a while. No, these these have to stay over here, I think. Put down any rebellions. Can we grab more people? We can. I think we're going to need to grab more people here. The plan is, whilst we're in a war with France, it it looks like Milan has been called into this fight. They've just put their uh, maintenance up. Yep. Both Milan and Naples have been called into this fight. So if we were to accept this call to arms, and even just declare war on Naples, there would be... Fighting on the same side. Anyway, we'll put these faults up. Give them a tick. And then we'll accept this and see what we can do whilst everybody else is uh, looking the other way. Might even be able to uh, get into Austria. You never know. Okay, good. Good. That's a tick of garrison on all our forts. Accept that call to arms. And let's convert here. Now. We're in a war with them. What about Austria? We're already at war with the Emperor. Emperor. Alright, there's somebody that we'll be able to go to war with. I think that's the badger there. Brings in Austria. Saxony. Not bothered about Saxony, not bothered about Austria too much. The, Pol the whole of the Polish forces have been hired by Lithuania. Let's head that way. And send some more of these forts on. Just in case Lithuania gets access through uh, Russia. I can't imagine they would, but you never know. Who else are we fighting? Okay. You 
Yeah, I'm gonna need more man. I can grab. I can grab a plane stack here. Send you up towards Portugal. Yeah, on we go. Okay, good. Next, carry on. And I think we're going to go revolutionary when we uh, when we have the opportunity. So 1750, revolutionary Mamluks. I wonder if after revolutionary Mamluks we can then switch to uh, to Arabia. I wonder. Oh, Switzerland. Yeah, I can't war. Can't, can't declare war into the empire because we're now at war with the dude. Are you Bohemian? Are we set there? Yeah, pretty much. Well, let's push you on. Let's have you marching on behind. We'll hit them on the forts. Let's get you lot to Zeta. Alright, so fought in the hills. Not exactly mountains, but it'll do. One best axe. Who needs our loyalty and who could do with not getting influence? The build to get loyalty. Could do with him getting loads actually. Stack right, love it. You're predominantly a siege stack. Why do you have 17 horses? I know you're Lithuanian, but. If I now to declare war on you. Saxony won't come in, Austria would. We'd be piling a war on top of a war. Oh, this is broken our alliance with uh, Lithuania as well. Oh, bollocks. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> Jean Pierre and France will have to do. I mean, we've just utterly annihilated the um, Polish forces there. So Poland should be fairly empty. Let's chuck you yep, into there. Let's also declare war on you out when we can. How much money we're we making? Can we can we pump out some more troops? I reckon we could. A colony. Ooh, excellent. Spreading Copticness to the Americas. Love it. How 
many are you going to need there? Is your capital really just... Okay. Well, let's cover off on a few more of their provinces. Just so that they can't produce men. We'll throw... You in charge there and chuck them, chuck them into a, a fort defense. I don't, how have you got across there? I don't know, but I can not trap you there because you can take bigger. No, I can trap you there. Let's turn you on. Let's use these emergency troops. To put these Lithuanians down, R you can bet you can yeah, you can bet your ass that uh, Russia is going to be licking its lips with this. The second purge of Hamburgian heresy. All right, this is fine. Not quite white, but still fairly good. Yeah. Let's declare war for your stuff. Can I get you in here? I can. Excellent. And you all the way through there. Onwards. Yeah, it might take you a while to get through that. This is what I mean about keeping your thoughts up to uh, up to date. What composition you are? 18, 18 cannons for here, and he's still a 93. So an only level three bonus. He would need 25 artillery to get through this wall to get the uh, the plus five bonus on this. Gives us plenty of time to get up in support of it. Also, you're just in the hills. Let's take you back. Actually, let's send you off to uh, to Poland. You're just a capital fault, so we're not going to need all of you over there. We've got a little bit of time. Um, we might have enough, it's only separatists. You split. How? How are we. Why? Why? Oh, there's a fault here. Is there a fault? A fault that just needs one... What? Must have been mothballed. Alright, might as well stay there then. Alright. Chuck both of these forts on just in case this guy breaks the fault there. We'll use this to deal with that. In the meantime, Austria's fighting the planet. Why? Attacker against Hamburg because he's allied with Russia. Okay. Did your ball nose over? Good. You move in there. You move in there. I should be able to piece out uh, Yao very quickly. 
and deal with our rebels. You on your way back? You are, but you've both chosen different routes. Hmm, didn't see this. Bohemia's decided to uh, come and fight us. Fair enough. I will stay here in support of uh, of this siege of Poland. Siege of Warsaw, even. Dylan, what is up with you? I could just hear him muttering in the background. No, fuck off. Go move. Yeah. Positive war score here. Let's grab you and send you in that general direction. We'll also grab some more people. I had that going for you. Uh, Bohemia? Not so well? Don't think so. Pilgrims of Willyata. 25 Diplo, local production efficiency, or 25 military. I think we got military. Still didn't enough. You'll be going outside. Both of you meet up in Adana. Prestige or air strength? Air strength will be fine. Legitimacy will come back up. And away you go. Siege of Warsaw, good. Allows you to get through to Visna. We can squish whatever's going to be left there and can't quite get through to block. And Russia's coming through to, uh, to solve my siege out. Weird. Right. You lot. Throw yourself on them. It's defensive terrain. Or we'll chuck. You already got decent leader in charge. Oh, there you go. And we'll grab you lot together. Next. More Copticness. Where are you going? No way, he's just in there. Right. right. Poland. I'd want to take stuff from Austria as well. We'll wait. We'll wait on it. I think if we head away here. If we'd have headed away earlier and been here. Or in the Gulf of Varna. Then he'd have made it to go back to Constantinople. And then we could have blocked him off. As it is, we're going to have to go chase him down.
Hopefully we can feed more and more people into here. And just squish them. Right, you lot. Off that way. Including all of you. You're nearly done. Love conversion and the siege of Yao is over. Off you go. What can we take? Admin tech. Uh, we'll need money. We'll wait. However, the siege of Yao is over, so let's go take stuff and things, shall we? Don't take that, but not by much. In fact, leave them with one province. They'll move their their capital, and they'll probably end up developing this one province that they've uh, they've got left. Also allows us to get rid of a load of cores. Can we fit insiders? Not yet. Soon though. Fairly soon. Is that a wipe? No. That was there. No, it wasn't. This might be. Soon. So, squish you. I'll squish you. You're still getting through that siege. The Russians are also hanging about somewhere. That was a white. Okay. Take all this back and we can get these troops doing better things. Or bring them up this way, sweep out this mess, and trick them into Austria. No, I still can't get out, can we? Wait for over extension to burn off. Okay, fine. You lot. Group up have been a donate. We'll support this siege up here. We don't want it to uh, be stumbled upon by the Lithuanians. Oh, there we go. Done. Fine. How did you get past there? I don't know. Anyway, there's all our cores. We will now peace out. Yow. Yeah, we'll leave them with one province. Allows us to take some money and more reps. Okay, just some money. Who's going to be in a coalition against us? Mali, Persia, and Yao. Well, Yao's not going to be that big. So, in the capital itself, they go up to 27 development. They've now started with 6 development province. By the time it comes to eat this again, chances are it's going to be up to 10, 15 maybe? Could be higher than six, I can guarantee that. You throw yourselves into the faces of those rebels. And we have 
41,000 here to run amok. Let's go do some running. Oh, they've got another fort down here. Do I want to fight you here in the woods in defensive terrain? Not particularly. Although I will track you. I'll fight you there, though. Might be a river crossing, but... I'll support coming in. And a better leader. Still a bit of a horrific loss, but... What can you do? Good news. Uh, where are you going? Don't know. We'll split off our cannons and trick them on the Poodle. Along with at least a Siege Commander. And we'll be ready to support it if it gets attacked. However, looks like it's out of date. What is it? Yeah, level 2. This is what happens when you end up with out of date forts. You just turn up and it's already got its gates halfway open for you. Access from Brabant? Probably not. Where have you ended up now? Let's split off cannons. Chuck them into that province there. I want to take stuff from... Uh, from Austria. Really? And this is an up-to-date fault. make our lives a little bit easier. If we declare war with you now, Great Britain will come in. That's pretty good actually. Are you trapped there? No, you got access to him. But why have you got so many troops stuck? Full. Oh my word. The AI. Blue stand separatists, yup. Well, at least the fire done a fault. We can get people back there relatively quickly. No, we, we've got we've got time to get back anyway. Want to take this fault? Definitely want to take this fault. So I think we we keep the majority of our forces over here for now. In the meantime, you can split and take those provinces back. No, let's go. We'll go back and deal with the, the rebels. One one stack that had fired on a fort, fair enough, we've, we've got a bit of time. But two of them knocking around in that area, just increasing and rest everything now. No, no. Mm -mm. We'll go deal with it. And off you go to what has been. Right up here. Next. Who's still in this wall? Well, Milan's here now in Bohemia. I reckon they will last long. We could probably do 
our guys a favor from com by coming up and sieging out the Lithuanian capital, get them out. That way we could send our entire attention to Austria without having to look behind our back and keep the uh, the Polish. Land free of Lithuanians. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Good. Can't think of it. We'll check you in there. See if it see if it works. Um, throw it down from your back row. No, we will go for artillery bonus versus the forts. It's the forts that we we tend to get held up on. So we'll make sure that they. I, I don't know if this is going to win, but at least it'll uh, interrupt them a little bit. And you need twenty six, do you? Level six. Yeah. Right, another 10,000 onto that. That's at least pressure on the Lithuanians. Still at high. I right, group up in Baghdad and I'll transport the uh, three star general over there. Nope, Poland, you can't get out because I want some from Austria as well. Hmm, they won. Excellent. Get out of my land. I think we're majority cannons here. Mm, yeah, kind of. Pooping out, carry on. They threw that fort yet? No, nope. and it's a fort in the mountains. Should work in our favour nicely. Okay. Okay. What is going on here? This all down to war exhaustion. Occupied home provinces, blockaded home ports from attrition. There's not. We're not in enough shit for this much revolt going on. Anyway, onwards. Going out of zero, Lithuania, or the, or the fight, Lithuania is still a high. We'll take the capital and then uh, we'll bug out. Get to Austria, try to get through some of his horrific forts. You take that back, you continue on. We'll hit 34, then everyone to the 49. Portugal, how are you getting on with the uh, Congo? Probably not so good. That's a lot of rebels. Good job we kept those, those forts up. Okay. Alright, so I squished you. Let's go down and squish the other guy now. And how close are you? Alright, we'll transport our three star general to here. Squish a stack. That's the Lithuanian capital that has been taken. Still, still 
High enthusiasm. Capital taken. High enthusiasm. Wow. I suppose I suppose ongoing battles. Still on, ongoing battles is only giving them a plus eleven. Some stupid enthusiasm there. Anyway, we don't have time to to ponder their enthusiastic ways. Let's head back towards Austria, shall we? Using our three-star general to hit this guy. French and nationalist war is over. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. Just went to France there. Yeah, France is getting a little bit big. It does now mean that we're just in a war with, uh, with Poland and Austria. We have enough of a war score that they can't drag anyone else in. Which has made that a lot more simple. However, if we were to kick that off beforehand, we'd have dragged many, many more people in. Let's have you just wait in a province adjacent until this fight's over and done with. Excellent. And then we'll teleport. A good general lover. You can take them out. You can have five shock. Let's hit this guy here. And I think our trade ships can go back out protecting trade in Ragusa, I think they were. Yep, there we go. Good. Yeah, you didn't quite get out of the province in time. Still. We're not doing, we've not done too bad here. You're on access because you're at war with Bohemia and Saxony. Yep. This will never do, however. Let's get you on uh, a gram. Why are you just coring this now? Oh, you're trying to make, you're trying to change your culture here. Interesting. You need 24 and you have 29. You need 24 and you have 31. I wonder where the Austrians were. Got the Polish over here. Where's the rest of the French forces? France, you are in this with me, aren't you? Yeah. So where are you? Stuck here. And he's gonna. He's gonna. How much attrition is gonna is he gonna take from having all of these men now stuck it? Because you're not gonna let him through. You're sure as fuck not gonna let him through. Whilst you're black flagged, how about you walk all the way up here, all the way down to here, or just get picked up, just get picked up by boats and fuck off? Because now, really, Britain gives you access. Can't imagine Britain gives you access. No, they don't. So how are you doing this? You get here and instantly black flag yourself. What has changed, Paradox? 
What has changed? How is this a thing now? Anyway, after 45 minutes and stupid Austrians, uh, that will do for me today. Eating now, uh, we, we grabbed a load of the, the molecules, they all came in, thankfully. And we're pretty much, are we lined up on, yeah, we're lined up on Portugal. Yeah, we can go to war with Portugal pretty much now, I think. This is a, a concern. But we can bring these guys back. Hmm. Anyway, I've been looking As always, you lot have been amazing. Join me next time for more with the Coptic Marblux. Until then, do take care.